so in this lecture i will teach torque equation of dc motor whenever current carrying conductor to any magnetic field it will experience a force that is our dc motor principle with that force the torque will be produced a torque definition is a turning force turning force about an axis about an axis is called torque so if you uh, a wheel is connected to the shaft of a dc motor and the wheel radius will be r suppose if will be rotates in a clockwise direction that means armature is rotating in a clockwise direction the force which is developed it is in the downward direction so the consider a wheel of radius r meters acted upon by a circumferential force this is called the circumferential force in newtons then the angular speed angular speed of the wheel angular speed of the wheel omega is equal to 2 pi n by 60 radians per second omega is equal to 2 pi means radians per second then work done work done work done in one revolution work done in one revolution is w is equal to force into distance traveled in one revolution so the distance traveled in one revolution it is a circle right yes or no so force into 2 pi r so this is joules the power developed the power developed p is equal to work done by time this time is already we derived n revolutions are made in 60 seconds for one revolution how much time that is 1 by n into 60 that should be equal to 60 divided by n that is our change in time so power is equal to work done force into 2 pi r divided by 60 divided by n so force into r into 2 pi n by 60 where what is 2 pi n by 60 2 pi n by 60 we can call it as torque sorry omega omega and f into r is called the torque power we can write it as omega into t this torque is called the armature torque here ta is equal to force into radius omega is equal to 2 pi n by 60 radians per second and ta this is a gross mechanical power which is developed by the armature so that should be equal to eb into ia eb into ia divided by omega so omega is equal to substitute omega is equal to 2 pi n by 60 that is equal to 9.55 into eb into ia divided by n the units of armature torque is newtons this is the first step and uh, one more thing if you are substituting eb is equal to 5z n by 60 into p by a in the above equation Ebo equation T A is equal to point one five nine into five z into A I A into P by A. So these two are the very very important equations.
नईन पॉइंट फाइव फाइव इंटू इबी इंटू ई बै एन दिस् फस्ट ईक्वे अंड सैकंड ईक्वे बोत आर् वेरी वेरी इंपारटे सो द क्वेश्चन इज फैंड द टार इन न्यूटन मीटर फैंड द टार इन न्यूटन मीटर एक्सटेड बै ए फोर पोल सीरी मोटार ऊज आर्मेचर ऊज आर्मेचर हेस ऊज आर्मेचर हेस टूव हंड्रेड कंडक्टर्स कनेक्टेड अप इन ए टू सर्क्यूट वाइंडिंग द मोटार करंट इज टेन एम्पियर एंड द फ्लक्स पर पोल इज पॉइंट नॉट टू वेबर सोल्यूशन सो फोर पोल मीन्स द नंबर ऑफ पोल्स आर फोर ओके एंड आर्मेचर जेड इज ट्वेल हंड्रेड कंडक्टर्स टू सर्किट वाइनिंग आर्मेचर कंट इज टेन एम्पियर्स फ्लक्स इज ईक्वल टू पॉइंट जीरो टू वेबर आर्मेचर टारगे इक्वेशन पॉइंट वन फाइव नईन इंटू फाइव जेड इंटू ई इंटू पी बै ए पॉइंट वन फाइव नईन इंटू पॉइंट जीरो टू इंटू नंबर आफ् कंडक्टर्स इज टूव हंड्रेड आर्मेचर करेंट इज टेन नंबर आफ पोल इज फोर and uh, is it lap winding or wave winding so is given as a lap or wave when the torque in newton meter exerted by four pole series motor whose armature has 1200 con- con- conductor connected up in a two circuit winding the number of parallel paths is 2 so now I think uh, you got the answer is seventy-six point three two newton meter. Next, what are the types of torques in a DC motor? Types of torques. We know that it is a armature torque. Yes. Armature torque, and this torque is also called as a gross torque. Listen, student, students, uh, and listen, friends. There is a difference between the gross torque and the uh, net torque. Suppose uh, if uh, a person's salary will be thirty thousand, that is called the gross salary. But some cuttings are there. That is tax. Or PF. After that, he may get twenty nine thousand. The twenty nine thousand is the net salary, and thousand rupees uh, is a loss only. Okay. Anyway, provided fund we are at the final, uh, we are getting more. But if a tax is there, okay. Assume that tax is thousand rupees. The thousand rupees is the loss, right? Loss. That is called the net. Similarly, here also some. force or some power is required to meet the losses that is called the mechanical losses is there this armature torque is to overcome the overcome the lost torque and shaft torque this shaft is just like a net salary and useful torque this is called the useful torque if i am drawing the armature i am drawing the armature and armature is connected to load the armature is uh, 
coupled to a mechanical load let us say that is called the wheel we can apply a brake drum the armature torque or generated torque so there are friction and windage losses are there friction and windage loss what is friction and windage losses means initially some friction is there uh, with that friction only it will be stable in initially some force is required to rotate the armature some power is wasted and also during running the wind will opposes the rotation of the armature due to that that some loss will be produced that loss is called the windage loss whatever the force which is developed in the armature is to overcome the friction and windage loss and also called as the to meet the shaft torque okay what is the net output of the motor output of the motor should be equal to shaft torque into omega the difference between the gross torque and shaft torque is called the last torque it's called the last torque and in the next video let's discuss the no load condition of a dc motor thank you